we're talking about artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence tool is not that smart. Uh, I always tell it, computer is a dummy. Whatever you put in, whatever you put, get out. It's just the matter of algorithm, right? So unfortunately, uh, not only that, but algorithm that... Uh, implemented in artificial intelligence is mostly, mostly to catch inconsistencies it's mostly to catch something that uh, is not clearly understandable in application that's why a lot a lot of complaints we observe in a federal court of appeal is now related to rejection based on artificial artificial intelligence tool uh, action which is supposed to be um, just a servant just an advisor to uh, to provide basically initial assessment to the officer, to the human being. And, but sometimes uh, people are too busy and they just uh, follow what machine uh, is saying. And, and that's exactly where I see this implementation is going wrong. Another thing, uh, obviously, uh, we're talking about increased amount of volumes. I, I, I would say to people when they uh, ask me, uh, I, I, I respond the same way. Don't trust every word and every number that government saying because they just have to process a lot of people because the lack of workforce in Canada, um, aging generation and uh, you know unemployment. It, it's just different things they deal with. So in a sense, I feel for the government officials how they deal with that pressure. But also on our side, I encourage people to do three things. First, Apply when you see you're ready, not because government is ready or policy is ready or situation is ready. It's like waiting in a garage until all lights to go green and then you drive. That's impossible. Whenever you're ready, apply and change your life and take care of your life yourself. Don't pay attention to volume of people on certain um uh, let's say uh, applications uh, type or uh, professions, occupations. If you're admissible, if you want to move to Canada, if you want to apply, if you want to start your process, start now. That's that's my advice. All these 20 plus years, 25 plus years I work in this industry. So that's my advice, number one. Number two, be careful. And um, the most interesting fact that I observe over the years, people following a government statement on a website, you don't need a lawyer or you don't need professional advisor. You do. And that's my basic concern because people sometimes apply themselves and it's not about saving money at all. It's not about that. It's like saying to the doctor, I will do it myself. I'll cut my own appendix and that will be fine. It's, it's okay. You can try, uh, but consequences will be on you. But I would rather apply with someone, just like a doctor, I would say, I would rather do operation with someone who did it before, like multiple, multiple, if not hundreds and maybe thousands of times, because people live in these policies, people live in these procedures, people see all changes and all new tricks. And, uh, and, and it, it's very tricky, by the way. Uh, sometimes people say, well, I open application, I complete it, I send it. And it's not going through. Well, especially now with electronic submission, it's more apparent because sometimes people waited for months just to get application back and uh, refused or declined. And by the way, different things, refusal and decline uh, application. So many things uh, come into one point. Don't trust numbers. Don't trust government and publicity stunts. Just go straight with policy uh, and immigration role, role uh, regulations, laws, and and roles of all the parties involved. And definitely um, work with someone who is in this uh, process all the time, knows all the uh, nuances and all the details. And then you will succeed. So apply now, apply smart, and ignore the noise. That's pretty much what I wanted to say. Thank you.